any production brings its own issues and its requirements and it's a balancing act to make sure they get what they want film wise but at the same time our normal tenants and residents carry on and of course our visitors can still visit the site. This room was used as the ladies factory in the film. We have benches down both sides and a lot of the camera shots were done from the roof which got a dramatic shot looking down on the women working the factory. So we had one rehearsal which was an all day thing. We were given a script and we had to learn all the song because we all had to sing on set and they had a musical director come in and teach, teach you the song and then they took you all down. You had a choreographer which seems a bit ridiculous for a factory scene but there was two choreographers and they had set movements so everyone had to learn all choreography in a short space of time. It was very exciting. I've grown up like listening to Lamey's soundtrack, going to see it in the West End, different like that. So, so to be able to be part of it was absolutely amazing. It's the exterior of the women's factory where they furnished set up on the side where blacksmith was working and the whole area was dressed with crates and other artefacts to set the scene. This archway formed the entrance to the town where Russell Crowe seen riding in on his horse. Outside here was a shanty town, fantastic production by Eve Stewart, the production designer, even down to using real fish as props. We're very honoured to have been chosen as one of the locations. As you say, a number of films have been down here and we've enjoyed working with them all. But this, I think, is certainly the biggest one I've been involved with in the years I've been on site.